<coughs> we saying I have a baby. We saying I have a baby. How you feeling at that champ? Weird. What's wrong? We ain't doing nothing but having a baby. I've never been like in Yeah, I mean, one out of two is good. It ain't bad. One out of two. He got to come up out of there, bro. Just chilling. He got to come out. I don't know if you want to hold him captive, but he got to come out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not saying. Let's just get a okay. Foley bulb. Just so get that in there. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so after you're after we do this, okay. where I go to the hospital? I mean, yes, you go to the hospital. And what I would do is I... Yeah, baby. Nope. Or tell me. I'm just making sure baby get down. So you can just oh. lay on back. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> I have a baby. Wow. Get my boy up out of there. Get my youngin. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just make sure baby's still head down. And your doctor is Dr. Joseph or Brock? Strickland. Or Strickland. <laughs> so the Foley Bowl is in. <laughs> you even took what a Foley Bowl is? So a Foley bowl is pretty much like the beginning piece of a Foley. They put it into you and what they did was uh, go in right to a cervix and blow it up to about four centimeters. And when they blow it up, uh, they help you dilate. So once she's a four centimeters, it'll come right out. Through the night, the lady should pull on it that'll help it, help her cervix dilate. So, yeah, so, right now. All right, I'm finna go get the truck. So yeah, look at her cute little waddle. <laughs> so we at the front desk. Yeah, that we can do. She got a silly bowl. <laughs> Blame it on me. So, we just waiting for. Now she finally coming around. Thought it wasn't gonna be that bad. She was nervous. She was just nervous. She always get nervous when they come to doing anything new. What she ain't never done before, so I just had to calm her down for a minute. But she all right, she's back all right now. Nah. I'm ready to get checked in and I'll run and go grab her. Well, I'll probably end up running to go grab us both something to eat and then we'll be in the room. So, find out what room we're in. We'll find out we're in the same room. We had Taylor and Cameron in. That'll be dope. Hey, y'all. So, got my gown and stuff on. Um, it's 8 o'clock. It's about, yeah, 8.07, whatever. It's 8 o'clock. October the 3rd, 2023. Y'all, my daughter just left out of here. I was not expecting to see him until the morning, so I'm glad he came and checked on your girl. But, yeah, he's about to go do a delivery. So, um, yeah, so he just walked out. And that was good to see him because this is my third baby, obviously. But my daughter has never delivered my kids. But he will this time. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. But, yeah, they had me hooked up to the monitor. But, um, we took it off. And she's going to come back about 9 and give me, gosh, can't remember the medicine. I'll tell y'all later. Whatever the medicine is to help your cer cervix soften. Because I'm 39 weeks and one day. And I'm only been dilated one centimeter. So, um... <clears throat> Um, my doctor was like, last week you told me to come in on Tuesday if I wanted to. And, um, they'll put a little balloon Foley bub in me to help open my cervix some more to help me dilate. And then about later on, the nurse will come pull it every now and then. And at first I really was headstrong on like baby coming on when he's ready. But he, 
I'm 39 weeks. I mean, 40 weeks is next week, and I'm still only one centimeter dilated. I'm like, you know what? Let's just get him out of there. Because he's head down, and he's just chilling. So, <sighs> girls are with my mom, of course. And we're just kind of just... <clears throat> Oh my god, it's very uncomfortable. I just got some type of relief to pick the phone up and talk to y'all, but um right now we're just chilling until about nine, nine thirty. Get that medicine that helps off my cervix and then they said the balloon would come out on its own. I think Chris explained that earlier. They blew it up to about four centimeters. And so when it come out on its own that should be four centimeters, and then they'll break my water or epidural. I don't know. This is my first time getting induced. So that kind of scares me a little bit, but baby's in good position. Um, so we're good with that. Chris just went to go grab us something to eat. I think he's getting some Chinese rice or something. I'm getting Popeye's. So um, we'll check back in later. But yeah. Last little view. Do we meet baby boy? I also wanted to point out earlier, I was talking to my daughter, Taylor. That girl there, yeah. she knew her mama needed to hear what she said. We were just on FaceTime and she was eating some noodles. And I was just looking at her eat. She was like, asked me how I'm feeling. I'm like, oh, okay. She's such a little... A little, I don't know, like she just, that's my girl. She's just a little, a little mama, a little leader. I don't know what to describe her, but she just, she says the right things at the right time to be only five. But she said, mama, she eating her noodles with her hand, going like this, eating her noodles. She's like, mama, remember, just be strong. Y'all, I was already like crampy, feeling away, but I'm just talking to my baby. And when she told me that, I could have, sh <laughs> I did cry actually, but not on the phone with her. As I was repeating it to Chris, I told her what she said. But she said, Mama, just remember to be strong. And when a doctor comes, you just gotta squeeze. <laughs> Refer to be pushing. So you just gotta squeeze. And you're gonna be so happy when he come out. I'm like, oh my God. I said, well, tell Mama that again later because I need to hear that. So Taylor, girl, I love you. You something special. But, um, so yeah, I'll check back in when I get my food, but, um, yeah, things are going good. I'm not confined to the bed. I'm not hooked up. I just have my IV in. So, <clears throat> and that's what I want to make sure if I'm going to get induced, I don't want to be hooked up to a catheter like I was my first go around with Taylor. I wanted to be able to walk free, go to the bathroom, stretch, do what I need to do. So, things should be going up and up. I'll check back in with y'all later. Peace. So right now it's 3.25 in the morning. About 10 minutes ago, Tia. I'm trying to get some sleep and uh, mm. was in some pain. Mm. Uh. Uh. What? Mm. Felt the water, water break. They came and checked that she five centimeters dilated, so they're gonna call the doctor now. Cause uh, she checked her also and she feels head, so they're gonna call the doctor now. She be fine. Mm. to get it done. So, 
This nigga kicking in bad. They finna get it now. We wanna see what the doctor wanna do first. <laughs> you made a hell of an interest. I have to go get some special colored beads for my jar. I keep checking my delivery, but I never have one like this. I have to go find a purple or something for him. <laughs> You're a special kid, man. <laughs> You're a special kid. He said his payback. Yeah. Look at him. He looks weird. But I'm looking for my mom and my daddy. Yeah, you got. 
God is amazing. Thank God. difference an hour can make mm. what a difference what a difference an hour can make oh my god Call her. Yeah. The Fresh Prince born. Fresh Prince was born watching what? The Fresh Prince.
killed nobody say bro I wipe the hardest motherfucker in the world right now girl you can get everything anything you want from me you a motherfucking trooper Truth. Your mama is the truth, boy. Mm -hmm. She is the truth. She gave birth to a king today. Ten folks signing out. Last day of you. But all that, guess what? No tear, no rip, no stitches. Come on, man. Come on, man. Huh? Huh? No, nothing. You did that on your own, straight on your own. You had your own child. Hmm? One of the nurses called him. He was already out. Only thing they got out to was his leg, like his his butt and legs. That was it. He was out. You pushed him out. Your pain man's work. He ain't doing it. <clears throat> man. <laughs> you was like, I'm boobing. I'm boobing. I'm boobing. Ow. Oh shit. <laughs> it was like, what you say? Oh shit. I see you. They was like, lay back, lay back, lay back. And I, that's when I came, but that's when I jumped up. Cause they, she told me I had to sit down. I, she told me to sit down. So I was kind of like, you know, treat me like a child. <laughs> and she's like, you know, Daddy, you know, I need you to sit on the couch. Okay. So after all that, I just, anybody else would've freaked the fuck out. When you look like you look, when I say she got you, she got you, she's standing there with the digits, right? Oh, fuck that. I got up. That's when I got up and came over because she had to move. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I got up. You know, like, lean back, lean back. I'm like, T, lean back, lean back. That's when he was like, I gotta poop, I gotta poop, I gotta poop. I, like, you couldn't move. And when you lean back, and she's like, I need gloves. She was like, I need gloves. That's when I ran over there and I took that whole fucking wall out and I looked back and your head is off the bed like this. And I about lost it. I about lost it. I about lost it. I about fucking lost it. Because your head, how you was looking at me. I about fucking lost it. I had to keep my goal, but I about fucking lost it. You was just like, like I was just like, help me. I about lost it. I about completely fucking lost it. I had to keep her cool. I about fucking lost it. I had been there. I'm like, baby, breathe, breathe. When I seen that shit, that but I, man. No, 
like this. Yes. Bruh, bro, your face was like, help me. And it was like, oh, baby, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. But by the time, like, I had to grab your hand and he was coming out. I saw his head. I'm like, he's, he's out. He coming. He, he is like, what? That's a, that's a helpless feeling. When you look at me like that, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I about fucking lost it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing like that shit, boy, that shit gonna be stuck in my head. Oh my god. So I'm like, oh my god, I wanna please let nothing be wrong. I'm just saying please don't let nothing be wrong. Please don't let nothing be wrong. What about Because T like the way you look at me though. I'm mm -hmm. thinking something wrong. Like, all of this is happening. You trying to get an effort, girl. You already got to be extra still for that shit. Didn't know where he was at with the needle. Because I seen him with the needle in his hand. And then all of this is happening. Like, I got to shit. I'm doing all this. And he's still trying to do it behind you. That's when I'm like, I'm sitting in my seat, like, you know, trying to keep you calm. I'm oh, seeing him, like, in the back, like, trying to get together. And it's just like, all right, well, I got to keep you calm. Because if you panic. You know, but then we was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta shit, I gotta shit, I gotta shit. And we like, I'm like, oh hell. And when you went to like sitting up and you, you were moving a certain way, you leaning on her, grabbing her, and then like you sat up and then you leaned over, but you started leaning over more. And then she moved. When she moved, I then said, fuck it, jumped off the couch and came over here in front of you so you would not fall. Yeah, you made a hell of an entrance, my boy. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Y'all done had the baby already? Yeah. <laughs> 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 when? Last night? Four something in the morning? Show you how to do this wrap. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Let me get my tutorial real quick. Wow. Right. How many pounds? Eight. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you lift him up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. No. 
medicine or no how, how long from the time he was finished, it was coming to it was contracting yeah to he was here exactly one hour oh one hour five centimeters uh that uh, water broke at uh 313 he was here at 413 and that whole time i'm coming hold on we were here for you uh good blood clean good i was gonna say we were here Right here. <laughs> She's right here. So, mm. so all that happened. It was something out of the movie. It was something out of the movie. Okay. When I talked to y'all last, or when I talked to her last, she still was the house. No, nothing happened. happened. Nothing happened. Okay. All this, everything occurred, everything popped off at 3.13 last night. Story time in just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you come on? Mm -hmm. Good morning, people. Baby Christian is here. What time is it? It is nine. I don't know. Nine thirty. My son was born at four thirteen, and I'm just now doing skin to skin. It's been an experience, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all in a different vlog because. This was different. So he is here. Oh. My girl didn't feel like a superwoman child. I just did my first shower. Got my breakfast right here. Mom. Christian stepped out for a minute, but I'm going to eat my breakfast, and I'll talk to y'all in a minute, because I'm still, I don't want to say traumatized, but it's been a journey. Mama, sweet meat. I still gotta be. I still gotta be strong. Nah, I still gotta be like there. So even at the after she built that weird, like I am about to start screaming. I had swung up, picked up and swung up in this bed. He came right on out. After that, she was just like. You can just hear the relief. That fucking howling, bro. I don't think I can get that shit out of my head. I'm gonna cop out. I'm gonna thank you. I'm gonna cop out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to feel like that again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ain't nowhere to feel. At all. Came out on his own, like on the bed. So they was when they saw him come out, they were all of them just like, like it just stopped because he was out. I mean, it wasn't no pulling, tugging, none of it. His head was out, his shoulders was out, his torso was out. It was just like they came over there and just did this. He's out. I mean, wasn't enough to pull. Wasn't enough to do. Wasn't no push. All right, one more push. No, it just. Boop. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he was kind of ticked a little bit. Was he down the hall? He's back to sleeping. Trying to walk around a little bit. It's 12.15. So I'm ready for my mom to go pick up my kids, my girls, from school and daycare. I'm trying to go get them early so they can go ahead and meet their brother. But I'm probably finna lay down. I'm trying to walk around a little bit. Hey, boy. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm Shantia, and I'm your mommy. <laughs> Look at you, handsome. Welcome to the world. Mm. Now, baby, I got a hiccup. Bubba. Hey. Hey. You got the hiccup already? <laughs> Y'all. Your girl is really out here birthing children. Eight pound children. No epidural. No stitches. I can't believe it. Yeah, that's story time. Will be another video. Mm. Mm. I'm cranking right now. got some motors. I had Percocet earlier to help me sleep. But I don't want to take them. My girls will be here in about two hours. And I don't want to be drowsy. We're gonna try to latch him again, have the boob. Ooh. What you said, Taylor? You said you what? Where's he at now? Where's oh. he at now? Who? Oh. That's the dragon. Right here waiting on you. Waiting to see his sister. He can pick up him and then he can come. Yep. Okay. We're waiting on you, mama. Talking? No, he can't talk. Just a baby. Okay. <laughs> if I think Chris Daniels. Huh? When, when they were taking the baby out, you were squeezing? Yeah, girl, I was squeezing really hard. <laughs> you mommy, have, you have to be. You, you, you have to. Um, you 
Yeah, it was all right. It hurt, but it was all right. <laughs> Taylor, mommy did a mommy did a good job. We all at now. Hey, love. Hey, love. Hi. Let me call brother. Come here. You nervous? <laughs> Come here, y'all. Want to see your baby brother? Hey, Tutu. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on, get mom. What's wrong? You nervous? Why? He's here. You say you're excited. Are you still excited? Hey, Cameron. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong, ladies? It's Christian. Baby, tell me. You want to hold your brother? <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy, boo. Hey, yeah, look at our little squad. Mama. Mama. Like a real shaft. Mama. <laughs> huh? Tutu. Tutu. Tutu, brother. He can have it every day. Yeah. Yeah, he's going home with us. Remember how you always be like this? Four of us. That was five. Mm -hmm. Look at that baby. Baby. Is that baby? You see him? Look, he's gone. He's right there. <laughs> I don't take my shoe off, mommy. Yeah. Here, I'll eat it. <laughs> you want some bread, please? Can you give me a Now we can go home? Oh, we can't go home yet. Why? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is October the 5th. And um, we just got our breakfast. I just took my morning shower, got freshened up, put my little cute band on. Also. And we're going to have breakfast. There's Dad. No. And then Mr. Christian over there is still bundled up. Next time he wakes up to feed, I will change him. He's been in that sleeper since he last night. So trying to put something on fresh. <clears throat> but everything is good. He got his hearing. Let me turn this real quick. Am I blind? Okay. Yes, yeah, about four o'clock this morning, the nurse came in and took him to get his hearing test done and some other things they have to do and everything went good with that <clears throat> and should i do you mind if i take him i was waiting for her to come get him for the test because i was tired and chris was already on duty because i fell asleep about 8 30 ish last night woke about 9 45 got some payments and I kind of went back to sleep, woke about one. 
and then when he when Christian woke up again after one, I was on duty. So <clears throat> breakfast looks good this morning. We have pancakes, bacon, grits, and eggs. Just trying to take a little coffee. And these little orange. I should have said a um I want a Coke. I'm still on my Coke kick. I know last night I told the oranges I did want that too, but. So. Chris is kind of waking up good, so he's not really in the mood. He has a headache. But I feel like I look cute. I look fresh. I'm just so excited to be <sighs> myself, kind of. You know, mm -hmm. I just got out of the shower, put me some little body oil on, child. So I'm smelling good, looking good, child. Mom of three, you know. Mm -hmm. Nothing too major, but it's major. Mm -hmm. You feel good? Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I think we go home today. Did I say that already? I don't think so. I think we go home today. Hopefully it's like afternoon. <clears throat> um, like probably by I think by one, two o'clock. Cause he still got he still gotta get circumcised. Oh, I got one piece of bacon. Thought I had two. But yeah. Chunky Man just got back from his circumcision. So they say they numbed it really good and they came in and showed me how to care for it. <clears throat> we got us some lunch here. Got some baked chicken, greens, and macaroni and cheese. That is actually Chris plate. Mine had fried chicken. I didn't eat all my I didn't want fried chicken. It's a big dumb it's a big it's a big dumb piece of chicken. But this is what I don't like. I don't feel like all that. Now, Chris' baked chicken look pretty good, but he don't want it. So, I'll probably be munching on it as the day goes by. But, yeah, so. <clears throat> Nobody came in yet and let me know if we're going home or not. I know this was the last thing we had to do. So it's about almost 1.30. And the nurse said she'll have to monitor his circumcision for the next hour, hour and a half, well, two hours to make sure it's not bleeding too much or whatever, but it looks good. and like it hurt, but got it done. So, we're just kind of waiting right now. It's really nothing else going on. He's just in and out of sleep. He's so handsome. So, I'll check back in with y'all later.